All right. So I want to separate two things. Um, and I didn't say that I was coming back. Because <laughs> uh, as I hung up, the Holy Spirit said, just do a separate video. I want to separate two things. Um, that is kingdom wealth. And uh, the issue of, you know, ministering the gospel and preaching the gospel so that we don't confuse people, okay? Because people come for different things. I'm trying to give it a few minutes, hoping that people do. Yes, there you are. So if you're in the diaspora, let me talk to you about what we are doing in terms of kingdom wealth. The Lord spoke to me about this and told me, as you travel, um, there are going to be people who become like sisters, become like brothers, uh, become like your own children and everything. But they are suffering. They are working hard. And when they send money back home, um, the people back home are eating the uh, money, okay, well, using very uh, Kenyan English. So the people back home are using their money. Um, and um, they, you know, I don't know how many of you have done this, uh, but sent money to your parents and then it's used for something else. Um, I've heard of quite a number of cases that started getting to me where um, people, uh, like there's a particular lady I heard about who uh, had sent a lot of money back home for years. Um, basically all her savings and then she came home to visit expecting to find um, her investments and she came and found that they had done nothing uh, so what happened to her is that she actually went mad completely mad as in she's not okay and she's like in a mental health hospital or something like that but she's not functional but there's been many of those stories of sending money back home and uh, whether maybe your family is crooked or not but they use your money for something else personally for me it has happened um, in terms of not diaspora but I have had a situation where I send money to somebody I say use this money for this and then months later when I get in touch with the person the person jokes about it and says did I really use it for that you know I used it for something else and I was very very upset it really hurt by the way when that happened it wasn't even much money it was just about 20,000 shillings I told the person you will have to sort out all, all that money you know but really how far can you go if it's your parents if it's family members it's in-laws what are you gonna do you're gonna tell them to repay you they don't even have money to repay so typically what happens is, uh, number one, um, you have a situation where you're working diaspora. Um, you can choose maybe to send monthly money. Every month you're sending money. And what happens is that it's like you have a wage bill of people that you're paying every month. Or you can choose to accumulate money, send them something little, but accumulate uh, money uh, or, or maybe save in our circle. We have a circle that we have registered. Uh, for for believers yeah we are just working with believers we don't partner with unbelievers if you're not born again i'm sorry we will not partner with you because we don't have the same agreements uh so we don't partner with unbelievers so you do need to be born again so you send money on a monthly basis invest it in the circle after about six months uh, you can be able to take a loan of course if you're going to take a loan you need to take a loan based on the same amount of money or you get people maybe to um you know because the way typically uh loans work um, in terms of circle is that you need uh, people to guarantee you. So if you don't have a guarantor, uh, then what you would do is save the amount of money that you want to save to use. Because the thing with when you lock money in a circle, you cannot withdraw it, okay? So that's the beauty. So it's one thing to say, okay, I'm going to save this much in my, my, my savings account, but if there's a funeral or there's a sickness, are you going to tell people, well, that's my savings, I can't go. What happens typically is that you sweep it. So instead of saving in a savings account, send it to this circle and we will save it for you. But even as we save it for you, you'll also be able to partake of big dividends and be able to get money from dividends. But we have um, some at the moment, we have some properties that we are buying um, and you can you can buy them and you can buy either in part or in full. So in part, you would send some money um, that would then mean that you have a percentage of a share. Of course, it needs to be some reasonably sized money so that we can then you can then be able to get something out of it once we rent out the properties or whatever, if you're not able to. So at the moment, we've been able to get some pretty affordable properties in Kiambu, uh, 2 million shillings for a studio house, uh, 3 million shillings for a one bedroom house um, with just a deposit you need to pay a deposit of 50 percent and then the rest you will pay in 12 monthly installments if you want to pay for a longer time we can but there's an interest that they are charging for it um so there's a five year whatever like a mortgage of five years but of course with some interest on it uh so that is possible it is workable it can be done uh, of course if you default you know you lose your property so and everything that you had invested earlier on so don't start saying oh apostle is a liar or whatever it is it's business guys okay sour sour so you need to be aware that you know we've been carrying various things and it's my name that i will put in there 
share and say, yes, we will be paying as kingdom wealth. Yet we know that it's me who's standing in the gap on your behalf. Of course, also using my, my, my name, you know, in terms of whatever. And I don't want to be considered a defaulter, but I also sign a contract, which if I don't pay, uh, I lose the property, I lose the money and everything. So it doesn't come to me. Okay. So you need to be aware of that. Uh, we are doing various investments. You can get involved in uh, uh, car rentals and everything uh, and earn as, as much as 45000 every single month. Um, so there's that that you can do as well. So you just need to let us know that the area you want to go into is into car investments. So with um, about 700000 you can be able to get into uh, car investments. Again, you can do that on a monthly basis as well. You can pay it as a monthly basis, do a 50% and then the rest pay on a monthly basis. And then you get involved in uh, whatever. And of course, uh, uh, the vehicle will also bear your name um, so that then we can be able to whatever to, to, to send you the money. So we can put the money, that kind of money, we can put it also in the circle and it continues to accumulate or you can let us know an account that we can send it into so that on a monthly basis you have that kind of rent. Even with 300,000 by the way, you can partly own um, you know, uh, some things and be able to get uh, some returns out of that. Uh, we have our t-shirt, uh, um, themed t-shirts as well. So if you don't have much money, you can buy the t-shirt will sell them to you at a slightly less uh, amount of money then you can go and sell them and be able to make money what are we doing in kingdom wealth uh, there is the people who are in diaspora that we're trying to help so that they can make investments back home and at the end of time they can be able to come back home and have a house do something but also maybe from the the, the, the house that they have be able to get rental income and therefore their parents or their family members can be able to collect from the rental income so that they don't have to send money to to to, to Kenya back home um, so that way they are not under pressure okay so that's one of the things the other thing is also just to help so so many believers who can make money but they don't seem to know how to make money make money so if you're a salaried especially um, please note your salary will never be able to help you become a millionaire or a billionaire so what you do is trust us to be able to help you and guide you along in how to make investments so that the money that you're having can be able to yield as opposed to putting it somewhere okay so basically that is what we are doing that is what kingdom wealth is about i will move this video and put it under kingdom wealth as well uh, so that people may be able to know we'll be signing contracts we have our lawyer available so that we can sign contract when you finish paying for your properties uh, we can manage your properties for you or just hand them over for to you uh, but basically we have a christian lawyer who will hand you over to so that then he can do the conveyancing part which is transferring the land and everything we're also buying pieces of land and subdividing them as well so just let us know what it is that you want but we really really highly encourage you to join king Kingdom wealth and kingdom financiers. Uh, the reason we're calling it kingdom financiers is because we are believing that as you're building wealth, you are actually a kingdom financier, like our dear Colgate, a uh, guy called Colgate, who told the Lord, Everything that you give me, I will give you 10%, and then kept on growing it and saying 50%, and then told the Lord, I have enough, everything that you will give me, I will give unto you. So if that's the heart with which you're working with, then the Lord will truly continue to bless us. We are not getting enriched so that we can be enriched, you know, we're getting enriched so that we can do uh, uh, things for other people. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. We are so excited. Uh, we are finalizing in terms of uh, the registration of Kingdom Wealth. It's pretty much done. Uh, the, the name is already sorted out. We're expecting uh, the licenses to come out any moment now, but it's already operational. Uh, and we bless the Lord for his goodness and for his mercy. We will continue to abide by state laws. By the way, we will be a taxed uh, entity. So we're not an NGO. We are a taxed entity that pays tax. And of course, we pay our tithes and everything. And we know that the Lord is going to do exploits. I can't wait to see what we'll do. I can't wait to see what we'll do. God's going to do great and mighty things. We bless him and we give him praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. So register for Kingdom Wealth and please do us a favor. Don't pay that 5,000 and then keep quiet. What's the point? Okay. Don't pay the 5,000 shillings to join and then keep quiet. Get busy. You can get busy with as little as 5,000 shillings per month, as little as 2,000 shillings per month. Just tell us this is what I have on a monthly basis. What do I do with it? And we will guide you on what we do with it. Okay. We have different, different entities. It's just that I can't talk about all of them on the video, but we have different, different angles and different entities, and we will help you to build the wealth that you have. Okay. The little you have, fit it into the things of God and we will, I mean, in terms of, uh, you know, into, into, into the mapping of what we want to do because the Lord has been guiding us through the Holy Spirit and you will be thankful. The Lord will do it. Amen. So don't, don't just, please, don't plan not to do big things, okay? Yeah, let's get it done, guys. But if you have registered, I challenge you, please don't give me your 5,000 and then keep quiet, okay? Let's get engaged and let's get moving 
and let's make wealth. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Amen. We bless the Lord for what he's doing. He's given us the power to make wealth. And where to begin than in the kingdom of God. Amen. And shalom. Please let someone know who is abroad that we are doing it. We'll be signing contracts, of course, um, so that we can help them to invest money. Um, and everything will be legal so that that way, even if there's a breach, you're able then to also take legal action as well, if need be. Uh, you know, I believe it, we, it will not get there. Uh, but yeah, we will do uh, proper. We will do it properly, so it's not based on just trust. Okay. Now, Mr. Yaze Kusema, you are an apostle. You are an apostle. Kaivo, if I default, then uh, it's okay. You should understand. Mm -mm, it doesn't work that way. Remember, I'll have put down my name. Nani mimi ni If at all, I end up uh, giving the wrong thing. If you are Kenyan, you do need to get uh, a, a pin pin number. We can help you to do that. Uh, we will guide you on how to do it. You do need to have your ID or get someone in your family who has an ID. Um, and you do need to, uh, yes, those two things are critical because we'll not be able to do anything outside of them because we have to do stamp duty payments and all those things, okay? If it's properties and all that and tax payments and all that stuff. Amen. Shalom. God bless you. Yes, we are growing. The Lord is doing great things. Please like our page, Kingdom Wealth and Kingdom Financiers, okay? Because we will not be speaking a lot about this here. We'll be speaking a lot about it on the other side. Amen. God bless you.